Several of the M23 ex rebels were wounded by gunshots during the escape. Dozens of others in the camp refused to board army trucks sent in before dawn to take them to the airport. <laughs> Ugandan army now says it is searching for the over 1,000 who escaped the repatriation. The former fighters had earlier expressed concerns over their safety if they were sent back to the Democratic Republic of Congo. Uganda, though, insists no fighter was forced to be repatriated towards the DRC. So far, 120 have showed up. As I speak to you, they are just entering the gates. But the others decided to disappear and report to other refugee camps in Uganda, particularly at Wamanja, where they claim that they want to be taken care of by the United Nations because, again, they claim that they're not sure of their security under the DRC government. We are happy because the international community has always been with us since the talks began. We are hopeful that they will be with us when we get back home. If we will be in any trouble, they will keep an eye on us. In the meantime, M23 chief Bertrand Bissimwa argues that repatriation was a violation of a peace deal reached a year ago between the dear Congo government and the M23. After the rebels' 18-month war that ended in 2013, the fighters fled into neighboring Uganda and Rwanda. They then signed papers in May vowing not to fight again and return for a possible amnesty. Wazir Khamsin, CCTV.